Good morning everyone, this is another session on Vedic Astrology and we will be discussing about the ninth house. So ninth house is the house here and it is actually in, in general it is ruled by the planet Jupiter. So the ninth house represents a lot of things. It, indica it, it uh, tells about teachings, it tells about religion, it talks about, it, it, sorry, it is about philosophy, it is about law, it is how your, uh, uh, you know, how, how your father teaches you or uh, teachings of your father. Then uh, it can also indicate towards uh, travel and especially long distance travel. And uh, generally these travels are done for uh, religious purposes, for uh, seeing different cultures, for seeing different religions and things like that. It is also uh, an indicator of luck. So the ninth house also indicates towards how fortunate you are or at least how you feel you, uh, if you are fortunate or not because again it's the relative definition. But generally, people uh, having a good or strong ninth house are considered lucky or fortunate. Now, it also indicates towards teachers and how your relation with teachers is. It also indicates uh, towards higher learning, philosophical learning. And um, it also indicates towards intellect. So, it also is an indicator of intelligence. That's why ninth house becomes really important. Because it tells about your intelligence, it tells about your higher learning, a PhD degree, tells uh, it tells about your uh, your inclination towards religion and teachings and things like that. Now we understand that ninth house is all about this. Now what happens when Mercury comes here? So we'll be going planet by planet, and we'll be I'll be just giving an example, and then we'll be trying to develop. So Mercury, the planet Mercury, can come here. So what happens when Mercury comes in the ninth house? Mercury is all about communication. Mercury is all about business, and Mercury is all about uh, you know um, shrewdness, intelligence. All these things are uh, you know related to Mercury. So when Mercury comes to ninth house, the, this will make a very very intelligent person, and this person is likely to do well in trade yeah, because uh, trade is uh, related to outside. Uh, you know outside country and things like that so person will do well in business also person will have a good communication skills so whenever uh, we have the mercury in the ninth house we can expect uh, a lot of mimicking these people will have an art of mimicking also uh, it's important here to realize that these people are very good orators so if you're uh, um, looking into qualities of uh, speech of um, you know uh, smart speaking smart intelligence and things like that so we have to look into the mercury then mercury must be present in the ninth house further mercury also makes um, makes them good teachers but again they will look for money because mercury in the ninth house are is generally uh, most probably this person is likely to be a good businessman or a tradesman and also uh, probably somewhat related to communication skills so that is what Mercury does. With Mercury also can be good here as in scientific research, as in um, the, the person can be a very good writer, very methodical thinker, and the person will do very well in research and writing and things like that. But generally, we can expect a very good orator, a very intelligent person, and a person who is directed business or head is a lot into business. Now, let us take an, another example. Now, suppose Venus is in the ninth house. So, Venus is again, um, uh, again, ninth house is actually ruled by uh, Jupiter. And Venus and Jupiter are not that great friends. Even Mercury is not friends with uh, Jupiter. But again, uh, with coming of Venus here, we can, uh, the person will be even more passionate because Venus has the qualities of being passionate so the person is the person can be very passionate about learnings the person can be very passionate about traveling the person can um, also it can indicate that the person is materialistic and again the person here is likely to make a lot of money through either business or through uh, you know through some of his hobbies and things like that now actually if we if we analyze it with palm uh, palmistry wise when mercury comes in the ninth house we are looking at a person who is very good communicator so obviously in the palm we will uh, have a, we will 
have a very good mercury or the business line also the amount of mercury might be well developed also uh, when this happens when uh, the mercury comes in ninth house we understand that the person will have long distance travel and uh, that's why uh, we have to again look into the travel lines so uh, obviously if the person is uh, having um, uh, venus in the ninth house then we know that the person is very passionate and again uh, the person will go into long uh, travels so we can see in the palm actually at times we will see long travel lines here very long travel lines here which indicates towards long travel okay this is your palm and this hand is the mount of moon and if you see very long travel lines then that indicates towards long journeys the minute we also see long travel lines it can be also told that the person's ninth house must be strong because ninth house is the one which tells about the foreign travels so hopefully you understood about basics about what is ninth house about also understood about venus and mercury in the ninth house uh, we'll be discussing more these are general points also how palmistry is related to astrology i wanted to show that also but yes, in, in the future videos, we'll be going into more depth, more detailing. Hopefully for now, you understood about the basics of the ninth house, basics of palmistry and astrology. We'll be discussing uh, much more in a future video. I'm Shwetang. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.